Friday, June 25th. So the moon is going to be in Capricorn all day, 10 different aspects. Wow. So I'm going to tell you, we're still kind of reeling from the full moon energy. We always tend to have a little bit of a lunar hangover, if you will. We're a little bit, you know, feeling the weight of the world on our shoulders. We feel the stress, the intensity of having to make some changes that we're, you know, we're prepared to make at this point. We're just not in the position to do so. Other than Neptune going retrograde, this is a moon ruled day. And this is roles and responsibilities, commitments. This is recognizing, you know, just what it is that we feel the weight of the world on our shoulders about. So I want you to be easy on yourself. I want you to be kind to yourself. You're likely going to feel this in your physical body, in your emotional body, in your mental body, and of course, in your spiritual body. And there's a lot of energy that needs to be retweaked now that we had that breaking point, that releasing point with the full moon peak. So the moon goes ahead and has a conversation with the true node, Neptune and Saturn. This is kind of like, okay, you know, can't sit around doing nothing. Capricorn energy needs to be productive. They need to see the physical reper repercussions of their energy. And so it wouldn't surprise me if we throw ourselves into tasks and chores and work to try and distract ourselves from all the emotions really running rampant and wild within us. So the moon makes this aspect with the true node, Neptune and Saturn. And it's kind of like, okay, we got to get on track in order for us to be here and, and align with our soul's purpose. We got to do this, this, and this Neptune kicks in. This is before Neptune goes retrograde. So we hours of Neptune still direct and making us, uh, you know, kind of reflect on the changes that need to take place in our exterior realms, reminding us of the dreams of the vision to tap into our creativity to bring in this into life. And then, of course, Saturn, the ruler over the moon in Capricorn, just wants to remind us that, you know what, it's great to dream of the future, but you have things to do. You have responsibilities here in this earthly realm. Now you have things on your to do list. We got to wrap things up. We got to clean a space out for the new, which means you got to get to work. You need to put your head down. You need to shut up. You need to get out of your feels. You need to do the physical work required in order to clean a space and clean the slate in order for the new that you're inviting in to actually take form. Then we square Chiron. This is a tension point because, of course, Chiron wants us to feel our feels. And the moon in Capricorn is like, no, no time for that. We have shit to do. We have a to-do list. We have to see, you know, this get done. We have to check that off. We have no time to feel our feels. And then zap a trine with Uranus. Uranus is like, okay, you don't want to feel? Well, I'll make you think. I will put such a vision into your mind, such a shift into your focus that you can't run away from that. You're going to have to deal with this awakening. You're going to have to deal with this new information. Things are changing. This is where your energy, attention, and focus is needed in your routine, in your relationship, in your day-to-day -day life. Why? Because you have to align with what you're being called to do. And a lot of this needs to be removed. You need to take the trash out, right? So then Neptune goes retrograde. Now, I am going to invite you to go take a look at June's energy forecast once again and really dive into what Neptune going retrograde is all about. Um, quick summary, though, rose colored glasses slapped off your face. Lies and deception come to the surface. This is going to be huge. And I, I want to say this very clearly, huge to the great grand collective. What's going on on the global stage right now? The lies, the deception, the betrayal, the delusion is all going to come out. We're starting to see it now. We're starting to see some wild, wild things take place. And let me tell you, Neptune going retrograde is going to slap the rose colored glasses off of the normies. Okay. Those of us, 
I don't believe anybody listening to me still has their head in, stuck in the sand or else you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be able to resonate with me. You wouldn't be able to listen to me. So I don't think that you guys necessarily are going to have a huge slap in the face. However, we all know some Karens out there that have their head in the sand, that look the other way, that refuse to think for themselves. Those people will be rocked. Okay. And we, as the light workers who have awakened, who have a totally different perspective of what's going on in the world, who have awakened to the truth and the lies and the deception many, many moons ago, our job is to stabilize the energy while the normies lose their minds, okay? We are light bringers, we are grid keepers, we are stabilizers, we are here to make sure that the earth stays at a frequency and vibration held high while some people go through their awakening for their very first time, okay? That is our job. When Neptune goes retrograde midday, we're likely not going to feel it as dramatically as we would if an inner planet like Mercury was going retrograde. It is an odor planet. Neptune is very far away from us. It's a subtle energy. But let me tell you, your dream state is going to be your best friend. Your spiritual practice is going to be your best friend. Everything metaphysical outside of science, outside of this physical realm is going to be your best friend. You want to lean all the way in to trusting the cosmos during this time. We are only given things that are meant for us. And I'm going to say this one time, just as a reminder, even the bad stuff is meant for you. We come here to this earth school because it's the only place that we can experience duality at its finest. There is no light without the dark. There is no love without the hate. Okay. Even the bad stuff is divinely scripted for you. Those are how we learn the lessons. That is how we evolve. That is how we grow. So in saying that, recognize that we are all going through different levels of awakening. The awakening does not end. Just when you think you know all that there is to know, bam, there is something else that is going to bust your mind wide open. And that's why I say to you, while Neptune is retrograde, lean all the way in to trusting the cosmos, trusting the universe, trusting your intuition and higher self. So the moon in Capricorn continues its journey, has a conversation with Mercury, the true node, Jupiter and Mercury once again. So it's kind of like, He checks in and says, hey, Mercury, you awake yet? Are you full? And of course, Mercury's over there with ants in his pants, can't be a passenger, hates that, wants to be in control, wants the driver's seat back. We're not willing to give it up yet because he's still, we don't know, you know, how coherent he is yet. The moon goes ahead and says to Mercury, okay, we have things to do. We have to plan. We have to get organized. Like, we really need you to step up the game here. You're going to have to detox. You're going to have to do a cleanse. You're going to have to wake up somehow a little bit quicker because, you know, you're kind of holding us up here. The true node chimes in and is like, yeah, I actually agree with the moon right now because we have a whole lot of progress to make in a short amount of time here. We really got to get our vibe back on track. We have to get our eyes on the prize here. You need to wake up. We need you in control. Then Jupiter chimes in and is like, yeah, do you know the big opportunities that await us? Because we're growing at a very accelerated rate here. We are busting through timelines and storylines. We need the mental plane online to help us make sense of the logic and practical steps that we need to take in order to get to where it is we need to be. And then Mercury chimes in again and is like, okay, well, let me back in the driver's seat. Let me back in. Let me take over. Let me take, let me take control. And our heart and soul is just like, "Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't don't think you're ready. Just, you know, just move up to the passenger seat in the front. Okay. You can move out of the back seat, move up into the front so that you can see the bigger picture, right? So that you can see what we're driving into. Mercury is frustrated, of course, but he says, yeah, okay. I'd rather sit in shotgun than in the back seat where I can see out at the bigger window and things aren't just flying by in a flash and in a blur. So then the moon decides to go ahead and sextile Neptune. Neptune just went retrograde. Neptune is now in the backseat where Mercury once was. And we have to remember that Neptune's back there drugged. Saturn's back there drugged. 
Pluto's back there drugged. Jupiter's back there drugged. They're all drugged. All these major heavy hitting planets back there drugged. They're incoherent. They're channeling subconscious thoughts and memories and feelings that we're not making sense of up here in the driver's seat. But we know that there's a lot going on back there. We know that when they wake up in the fall, when they wake up, they're not even going to recognize us here in the driver's seat because we're going to have transformed and changed so much because of the journey that we're on. You can't drive across the country and not have those experiences change you. We're going to have so much to tell them. We're going to have so much to fill them in on. And of course, that moon in Capricorn just wants us to make progress, just wants to see the progress that we were able to make on that day's drive, on that day's journey. And we are closing down the day with Neptune in a retrograde. And this is why I say to you, please pay attention to your dream state. This is going to be major hints and major clues on how it is that we're going to navigate this next part of our chapter.